Welcome back. Now, over the past year, the Indian tyre industry has grown uh, by 10 to 12 percent. It's expected to grow by 4 to 8 percent over the next uh, three years as well. While MRF uh, leads the pack, as it were, Seat Tyres, of course, is looking at uh, playing the catch-up game. In fact, it's recently released an ad campaign, which is aimed at making it uh, the preferred choice for SUV owners when it comes to replacement. To talk about uh, their strategy, Nitish Bajaj, the Vice President of Marketing at Sia Tires, is joining us on our show today. Great to have you with us, Nitish. You know, I remember the time when there was volatility in the truck tire business. You turned to the two-wheeler segment, uh, so obviously there was this huge shift in strategy and the brand communication had to be really strong. So I remember you went with the on-road uh, grip factor to push forth that change in perception, as it were. You came up uh, with a tire, the design of which looked like a rope set on the tread. If you can take us back in time to the thought process then and how you effected that uh, shift in strategy, as it were. Yeah, so uh, the shift was done around 2010-11 time. And that time, if you look at, was not so profitable time for tire industry per se. But clearly, when we looked at our business and dissected it, we found that profitability was much better in the passenger segments than in the commercial segments, which were more competitive and also more price sensitive. So as a business, we took call that we will stay and put more investments behind the passenger business. And that's how the genesis of investments on two-wheeler and also in the passenger car and especially in the SUV segment. So that was a transition call we took in 2010. And since then, the journey has been quite good for Seat as a business. One, by clearly putting a focus behind these categories, we got the entire business organization, sales function, marketing function, all the organization focus clearly was behind the key priority, which is the passenger segment. Also, we got through quite a few breakthrough communications from the creative agency. So we got our Idiot Safe campaign, which was the first campaign we rolled out behind the two-wheeler category. It also helped help us stand out from the rest of the people who were quite diffused in their communication and also were talking a mix of fashionable statement in riding a two-wheeler, a mix of more zip-zap, zoom kind of communication. So it helped us stand out from the rest of the players. And that distinctive imagery rooted in the core benefit of safety for the consumer helped us gain quite a bit on the market share in the two-wheeler category and also helped the brand take an imagery of a thought leader. So that was a transition which worked well for the brand. And of course, you've got uh, Irfan Khan as your brand ambassador. I remember in the film Piku where uh, he plays a central character, the owner of a taxi fleet. He went with brand integration in that film. He also features in your SUV tires uh, campaign, apart from all the safety and durability ones as well. So tell us what the real benefits are uh, in your association with Irfan Khan. Yes, so Irfan Khan was not necessarily a choice of us because of his Bollywood association. Irfan Khan was actually a central character to our film story. Our film was all about the superstitions which we have, which we believe keep us safe. And we really wanted to break those myths. Uh, genuinely and not too aggressively and Irfan Khan is actually a genuine character in that sense who comes out and calls spade a spade. So his entire aura, perception, imagery in the minds of our target audience was well suited for us to communicate that message and that's the reason why Irfan Khan was chosen and clearly he did bring in loss, bring in lot of benefit. The ad was distinctive, it stood out, the brand recalls really went up. The message recall, the story recall also was very very strong and our business really gained, grew almost like in, again, strong double digits. We had growth and our market share stood out quite well in the passenger segment after the campaign. And Nitish, tell us about uh, your latest ad campaign. What was the thought process over there uh, in launching this campaign? Yeah, so clearly one uh, key driver for this is uh, contemporizing and making the brand more premium. Second is we have stood out for the safety as a domain. But when you talk of SUV as an audience, now SUV audience is actually wanting to use the SUV because they want to explore the uncharted territory. And in that exploration or that urge or need to show off, the people whom they really talk to about their exploits is their family and friends. And that's where we have picked up this insight of a father taking his child out on a journey and how child really experiences the terrains which are in a way not familiar to him, not a part of his regular domain and how he adds his bit of imagination. So in a way it's a surreal journey for a child, he adds his imagination, takes it to the next level and all this becomes possible because a CA tire lets you really go out and explore the uncharted territory. That's the entire campaign about. But there's cricket to speak of as well because SEAT now has a three-year strategic uh, timeout uh, sponsorship with the BCCI. It's for the IPL since last year, which means uh, you cover season 8, 9 and 10. 
So each IPL match uh, has uh, four timeout sessions of two and a half minutes each. Uh, I want to understand how this really helps you. What has led to the decision to, uh, to go with this? Yeah, so if you look at our investment on cricket, C8 was in a way the pioneer when it came to cricketing association. So we were the first ones to really create the concept of C8 cricket rating. However, as the journey on the cricket progressed, the space became more and more cluttered. Also, more and more advertisers came in and hence, investment levels required to maintain a saliency in cricket also kept going up. And that's a constant challenge a brand, uh, a challenge a brand like C8 would always face of how do we make sure that we distinctively stand out and yet maintain, a, maintain an efficient investment. We felt strategic timeout is a great fit because one, it gives you a presence on TV. Second, it is not a passive association just like a TV branding, it's an active association. In a way, there is a break where a viewer is heavily engaged into watching a TV, the IPL, and then comes a break. In a way, it's a clear uh, standout association which consumer gets to see and also gets to experience the brand at that point of time. And that's not where your cricketing uh, partnerships end. You've inked a three-year bat endorsement deal with cricketer Rohit Sharma. You had already Suresh Rena in the past and you've got a former Australian international cricket legend uh, Brett Lee on board as your digital brand ambassador for the SEAT uh, cricket ratings. You, of course, said that the cricketing uh, world, as it was, getting more and more cluttered when you talk about sponsorship deals, but your footing there seems to be getting deeper and deeper. So, tell us what's driving it. Yeah, we are getting... Uh, see, cricket, we were always there. In fact, I would say somewhere we had become a bit weaker on the cricket and we are now coming back with an increased and much more renewed vigour behind cricket. Cricket clearly is the standout sport for the country. So, clearly the masses are there on cricket. And C8 as a brand wants to talk to the mass youth. So clearly from our perspective, the match is very strong in favour of investing on cricket. And hence we are upping the ante. If I remember correctly, uh, since 2011, uh, C8 has been spending around 40 to 45 crore rupees every year on marketing. In which uh, one third is spent on above the line and the rest is spent uh, below the line. So tell us where it stands today. How has the brand's ad spends uh, changed over the years when it comes to this split? And are you spending more uh, for the digital medium now? So yes, we will stay focused uh, behind investing big on TV. We would also invest a lot in the digital frame uh, as well because our audience is gradually shifting to that as a strong medium of uh, usage, strong uh, touch point for us from a consumer connect point of view. So uh, associations like uh, when we were talked about endorsement from Rana and Rohit Sharma, clearly we are also got into a endeavor with where their own Facebook and Twitter pages will have these endorsers talking about uh, their experience with the C8 bat. Plus also our digital association will highlight their successes. Uh, so clearly we are looking at using these endorsements also in the digital space. Nitesh, from the Be Idiot Safe uh, campaign to uh, Nimbu Mir to the Monsoon Smart campaigns, it seems like safety is the big foundation of your marketing message. And we understand this has been drawn from deep consumer insight as well. If you can walk us through it and tell us if it's uh, likely to change going ahead, what's your overarching uh, marketing strategy, uh, at least for the next few years? Yeah, so insight actually is, uh, if you look at safety is a hygiene uh, for consumer when it comes to automobile. It's, uh, it's uh, only thing is, tires are not naturally associated with safety. If you ask a consumer about what drives the safety in a passenger car, he does not naturally associate it with, that, uh, with the tire, he associates it with a possibly an airbag, the overall vehicle stability, etc. But when it comes to two-wheeler, there clearly tire is the, one of the key pivots on which he uh, associates safety and he clearly verbalizes that it as grip of the tire. So that was the starting point for us because we did our journey with two-wheeler. That was our starting point where we, go, where we said our tyres give you better grip and hence a safer driving experience. And before I let you go, Nitesh, uh, perhaps you can share a tip uh, for our upcoming marketers. So my message to upcoming marketers will be to actually keep finding those insights which are very strong and relevant for the consumer. Pick up those insights, look at how these insights fit in your core communication. Uh, core and rooted to these uh, these in various communications you develop because if you keep putting multiple messages and are not ready to single philosophy consumers do not recall it and also your own investment efforts be it behind product be, in, be it behind brand building do not add value in fact they get fizzled out if you're not 
rooted to a core cause or a core message. All right, Nitesh, great to have you with us on our show from Logo to Impact. Uh, so hope much. you have a smooth ride in 2016.